the Schweppes Cape Phillies Classic, the listed event went to number two, Rainbow Lorikeet, the daughter of Karari. Aldo, looking at you going into the beginning parts of the race, you looked like you were sitting with a double handful. Yeah, no, um, I knew if she relaxes, she's going to show a turn of foot that, that I need it, uh, when I need it. So I was hoping Louis just goes on a few lengths clear because I was going that well. And I know when she hits the front, she's a bit green still. I know she's won a couple of races, but she's still maturing. Feeling in the week, I told Kenna she's certainly come forward and actually gives you feel like a feature filly. So I think she's going to be smart. She stays quite well, nice turn of foot. And the fact that she still hasn't put it together is quite a good sign. Although her mother, do you remember her much, Nightingale? Yeah, I was a little kitty when she was around. But uh, No one believed that. <laughs> yeah, no. I think she's slowly progressing, which is nice. She's got a nice action and she's versatile in any sort of going. So um, to Zach, the whole Yachby syndicate, Shannon, there's a whole lot of them. There's too much to mention. Uh, nice to bring some young blood into the game. Everyone that is involved in putting this together. The best team, Mark, everyone, there's too much to mention. So to our whole team, thanks so much. Aldo, well done. Thank you. If you well, you've got trophies. Greg Boards, the chairman of Cape Racing, is going to hand them over. We can... I also want to thank the sponsors, Mr. Boards, everyone involved here. Yeah? Splash, thanks for the sponsorship. It's been a lovely day. Looks like the crowd's starting to fill up. It's always nice when there's a buzz here. So to all of them, well done. Well done, there you go. Greg Boards will be handing that over. If you can both just look up for a photo. Well done, Aldo. You can take your spoils. Next up, Candice Bass Robinson is going to come across and... Uh, Candice, you've always mentioned, firstly, that this was your preference of the Phillies, but does she give you a little bit of a reminder of her mother, Nightingale? She's got a little way to, to get up to her mother, Vicky, but uh, it's, she's, she's kind of filly. I was just actually saying to Mark earlier on now that she's a kind of filly that's really come through her sort of prep, or I call it that, um, from when she's come into training. She's really come through that pretty well, and she's improved so nicely with every run. Um, Winter time when she was last year in winter time she was just a very difficult filly to train she just she never ever looked well she was very light and uh, since you know when spring came around she turned the corner and she's she's really now starting to mature into a nice filly um, she obviously will get ground which is nice and uh, I think you know we've we've given her a nice prep to get to a race like this eventually she's had her wins along the way and it's nice to end up with a nice listed race towards the end of the season. It's also very interesting with the syndicate that own her, a whole bunch of youngsters. It's a brilliant filly for them to have fun with. Yeah, no, fantastic um, filly for all of these guys to own. A couple of them are overseas at the moment. Zach is not here today. They're all sitting in, in the apartment, I think, screaming the place down. I think they're going to get some noise complaints after that. But, uh, yeah, she's, she's a super filly. So to, to Wilke Bostrip, to Mary, um, thank you so much to her. I think they're all very appreciative of being able to have a filly like this to race. And I don't think she'll stop here, Vicky. She's got a lot of improving to do still. And I think, you know, who knows where she'll end up. But uh, if she continues to improve in this vein, she's going to be a nice filly. Candice, well done. Thank you. If I can just ask Greg Bort. Sorry, I'm just going to pop behind here. This will be Candice's trophy. If you can just please hand that over for the Schweppes Cape Phillies Classic, the listed event. Well done to Candace Bass Robinson, trainer of number two Rainbow Lorikeet. Lovely win from the Philly, and as Candace mentioned, a little bit of progress to do. Well done, Candace. A little progress to do, but it's definitely a good start. Now, for the upper syndicate. I'm glad Shannon's coming today. Come on, all of you got to come up. Not bad, hey? First horse, first feature. You guys are doing well for yourself. I can't complain. complain. I mean, it's. When I came here this morning, this morning, I just did not expect uh, what I saw today. I mean, she won unbelievably, unbelievably. And um, I just have to give so much thanks to all the, the partners and everyone who's involved, the trainer, Candice, and uh, Mary, and to my, one of my, my, my be, actually my best friend, uh, Zach, uh, who put this whole syndicate together. together. Um, no, it's just unbelievable. So yeah, and uh, a big thanks to Cape Racing for putting on an unbelievable day. And yeah, we are, I'm thrilled. Well, it's early on. You've got a whole day to celebrate, so enjoy the rest of it. Thank you so much, Vicky. Shannon, I'm glad you've come up. It's a very good win from your filly. Were you proud? I'm very proud and very excited about her next journey. <laughs> and I just want to say thank you to Candace, Marky, the best racing team and the groom and Aldo. And well done to the rest of our partners, Zach and Kaylin and Ryan, up in the UK. Well done. Thank you. Brilliant win. How does it feel? Yeah, no, super good. I'm pretty new to the racing thing. Uh, Zach wrote me in here. But um, I'm super glad he did. That was incredibly exciting. 
Um, just want to give thanks to everyone. There's too many, too many people to mention, but thank you to everyone. And a special thank you to my brother. He's sitting in London, I'm sure we all heard him shout from there. Uh, he'll, he'll be the loud one. Um, but thank you to him for putting the syndicate together. As I said, I'm pretty new to the sport, but I'm so glad you wrote me an incredible time with everyone today. Well, I'm going to put you on a little bit of pressure now, just because it's the first time you've been on the stage. <laughs> what about it is so exciting or, or just so thrilling? I mean, the rush we just got shouting the horse home was next to anything I've ever experienced. So just that adrenaline rush was incredible. But just seeing everyone, um, I mean, as you said, we are a pretty young syndicate. Um, all pretty good friends, so just a doubt with your mates is also, also a bonus. Well done. Thank you so much. Greg Bortz is going to come forward, Chairman of Cape Racing, to hand over your big trophy. Or oh, Shannon, it's all yours. There you go. If you can all just have a look at the cameras over there, they're going to take a photo of you. So, so well done to number two, Rainbow Loriki, daughter of Karori. Well done to Volker Bortz, Drift and Rinsfontein for breeding and the Yuppie Syndicate for owning. Lovely win from a filly that's going to be progressive. Ladies and gentlemen, our Hollywood Bets winning groom for race number two is Mr. Sandile from Bass Robinson Yard. Mr. Sandile, massive, massive congratulations. You are Hollywood Bets winning groom. And because, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sandile is the winning groom for race number two, which is a futured race, Kaya Stables also gives him 5,000 rand of an, an additional prize. Mr. Sandile, you also win 5,000 rand from Kaya Stables. And just to note, Kai Stables also gives prizes to the uh, groom in position two, three, four, and five as well. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sandile, let's just show your trophies to the viewer. This is his trophy from Kaya Stables. How do you feel? I feel very happy. <laughs> I know Rainbow Lorikeet is your baby, it's your winner, and I know you are. It's not the first time you're here on the big stage. Is that correct? Yeah, correct, boss. <laughs> and Kosika Kolo Baba, and all the best. This is from you, from Kaya Stables, as well as Cape Racing. You are Hollywood Bet's winning groom for race number two, the Shreps Cape Phillies Classic. Ladies and gentlemen, let's please go watch that replay of Rainbow Lorikeet one more time, and then also head over to race number three.